Hello and welcome to Sri Kan Summaries. If you're new to my channel, subscribe for some promising content. Hit the bell icon for notifications. And now we look into the various vaccines that are currently available in India. Their pricing, their effectiveness, and all other crucial vaccine details. Watch till the end to know complete details regarding the vaccination drive in India. Universal vaccination against COVID-19 is the only way to beat the pandemic. and india has a goal of vaccinating at least 100 crore individuals by the end of 2021 india began its vaccination drive with two made in india vaccines covishield and covaxin the indian government has sanctioned emergency use authorization to many other vaccines like pfizer moderna zydus and sputnik today we shall look into covishield covaxin sputnik v in detail covishield developed by oxford university in partnership with british swedish firm astrazeneca it is being manufactured in india by serum institute of india pune covishield is a viral vector based vaccine it is made from a weakened version of common cold virus known as adenovirus the modified virus although cannot cause any illness the virus instructs the body on how to fight against similar viruses Two doses are to be taken at an interval of 12 to 16 weeks. The gap is 28 days for students who have to undertake foreign travel for the purpose of education. Covishield is available at government centers for free. In private hospitals, the charges have been capped at rupees 780, including GST of 150 rupees. The vaccine has an efficacy of 76% basing on primary analysis of phase 3 clinical trials. Efficacy increased to 82% when the interdose gap is 12 weeks or more. Covishield is authorized by WHO and is in use in nearly 117 countries, South Korea, Switzerland, Dubai and seven European Union nations have opened their borders to Indians who are fully vaccinated. Covishield is still not approved for use in children. The Serum Institute of India is aiming at producing 100 million doses per month by August 2021. Covaxin, Covaxin is being developed by Bharat Biotech, a Hyderabad-based pharma giant in collaboration with ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research and NIV, National Institute of Virology, Pune. Covaxin is an inactivated vaccine made from killed coronavirus which cannot replicate. Upon injecting, the immune system recognizes the killed virus and starts producing antibodies against SARS-CoV-2. Two doses of Covaxin have to be taken at a gap of 28 days. Covaxin is available at government centers for free. At private hospitals, the per dose charges have been capped at rupees 1410. which includes rupees 150 as gst covaxin is 77.8% effective covaxin received approval from 13 countries so far who is yet to approve covaxin and so most countries will treat those administered with covaxin as not vaccinated until approved by who covaxin is also not approved for children like the covishield vaccine Bharat Biotech is aiming at producing 60 million doses per month. Sputnik V Sputnik V vaccine has been developed by Gamaliya National Research Institute of Epidemiology and Microbiology in Moscow, Russia, in association with Russian Direct Investment Fund RDIF. Dr. Reddy's Laboratories based in Hyderabad distributes the vaccine in India. RDIF has tied up with other Indian companies Hetero Pharma, Gland Pharma, Virchow Biotech, Stellis Bio Pharma for its production. It is a viral vector based vaccine like the Covishield. It uses two different human recombinant adenoviruses for its two doses aimed at providing longer protection. Sputnik V is administered in two doses at a gap of 21 days. Sputnik V is not available at government centers currently. Sputnik V is available at select private hospitals like Apollo, Fortis, etc. at a price of rupees 1145 per dose including GST. 
the efficacy of Sputnik V was found to be 91.6% according to results published in Lancet. Sputnik is authorized in over 60 countries but yet to be approved by WHO. So Indians vaccinated with Sputnik V may not be allowed into foreign countries until approved by the WHO. This is all about the vaccines that are currently available in India. If you like my content, please subscribe. Hit the bell icon for notifications. Thank you for watching. Till then.